Hello and welcome, my name is Shane Tony White and you are here with me at Rocking at the Movies. If you like this content, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and don't forget the notification bell as well. Share it, share this as much as you can and don't forget leave me a comment. I will re be responding to the comments and if you've got anything else that you want to add to it, just some funny comments or behind the scenes things that you know um, or even some other movies that you'd like me to, to actually do and, and start working on. Let me know and I'll definitely start adding them in. And who knows, maybe I can even feature your movie down the line. Here we go. Now this scene is where Ray fights Tong Lee for the first time. And this is where the turning factor of the fight goes. So it goes from a normal competitive side, side of the fight to something that's a little bit more drastic. So, spoiler, if you can't take gross scenes, there's a bit of a gross scene in here, so you can turn away shortly. But this is where Tong Li really takes over. Ray kind of has an upper hand, but he was stupid. In my opinion, he was very stupid. He got him down, hit him on the head with a crushing blow to the head, and now look, now he thinks he's won. He thinks he's beating him. And... Jackson decides, or Ray Jackson decides, yeah, let me just show how good I am. He should have finished the fight. Never turn your back until the, the opponent, until the opponent is completely submissive or over. Because now he comes back with a vengeance. And here we go. Because his leg. Frank really wants to stop the fight, it just doesn't happen, and there we go. Knockout, devastating, and he takes his bandana, and imagine, that's really, really, really just enticing in another fight and trying to show that I'm stronger than you, I just beat him, he's your friend, you're next. Imagine, now we're going to go into the fight scene between the two of those. So stay tuned for that. So what this is showing now is this is showing the different main two characters or the main two competitors in their individual fights. So it kind of intimidates each other and builds up a bit of a scene between the two to see who's better. And one watches the other and then obviously studying each other's fighting. So if ever you get into a martial arts fight or even a street fight or something, try study your opponent because that's what they do. And they're able to see their weaknesses and their strengths, what to do, what not to do. And that's how you decide what the fight or how the fight is going to turn out. So imagine sumo wrestler, he knows, kick, stretch him, that hurts. If you're not flexible like he is, you're going to struggle with that one. So it's always good to be flexible. But these guys are like tanks, they can take anything. I hate to come up against an opponent like that. Oh boy, here we go, here comes the bear hug. And watch his face, watch his face. Bah. Remember, you've got other tools. Not just your hands and not just your feet. Your whole body is a weapon. Now imagine that. If that's the Dimak, if he used the same Dimak tool or technique like he did on the bricks, that must hurt right in the chest. This is the best move ever. And I think they copied this in Mortal Kombat with Goro down <laughs> yeah that's it not even worth punching him man down literally <laughs> always Maintain your composure and show respect, especially in martial arts. Don't be arrogant and don't show off. That's just one rule. Now we're up for the good fight. I'm not going to talk much in this one, because we're just going to go through all the elements. But I am going to have one or two little comments. Hope you enjoy this one as much as I do. You ready for it? Let's go. Just so you know, as they're preparing, Someone who thinks they aren't a good fighter will always find a way to cheat. And there you go. A little bit of powder 
not too sure exactly what that is, what he put inside his belt. It was probably some kind of a breakable or fine powder that can break up and as he throws it will be to be used. But there we go. Frank Dukes is obviously taunted by him, by Tung Lee, because he's now using his bandana to show check. I beat him. Now's your turn. The music here. It's a resemblance of the training that he did, which is going to be in our next video. Don't miss out on that one. Okay, I'm going to keep quiet now. Let's go with the fight. Yes, that's muscle. You always get one person who messes up the whole tournament just out of arrogance and pride. He must be so scared being in the middle of that fight. <laughs> Taunting him all these fancy tricks just to mess him up. And it's a mind game. The whole thing is a mind game. Spinning donkey kick or spinning side kick straight to the stomach. Table start turning. Frank shows his, his power, his composure, his techniques, and a very bad one into the stomach. Don't forget to learn your dive rolls. This is one of the reasons why you might need them. Oh, he's going to shake his brain up a little bit. <laughs> Here we go. It's back in the place where he needs to be. This must be making Tong Lee furious. Not being able to get this guy. Should be such an easy fight. This is where the cheating comes into it. Not fair, not right. See, there goes a powder. However, in a competition like this, don't cheat. On the street, use whatever's around. So if you're on a sandy place, pick up the sand, throw it in the person's eyes. You'll get this effect and it'll give you that time that you need it. Trust your training. Trust your training. Go back into what you've done. Come on, Frank. Mm -mm. Come on. Yeah, no, thanks. It's so good. Oh, this guy bugs me. In this movie, he bugs me so much. This character is terrible. Come on, Frank, get up. Come on. Frank. 
Frank, you can do this. Oh, that must be so frustrating and so angry. I'd be so angry like that. Get up, Frankie. Get up, Frankie. Get up, Frankie. Remember your training. Come on. Guys, you got other senses. Don't always rely on the one that you've, you're used to, which is mainly your eyes. Listen. Feel. Trust your sixth sense. There we go. Now he's giving you that exact example. That's it. Back to training. We're going to be going through the scene just now as well, next week. That's it. That's it. You've done this. Come on, Frank. Compose yourself. And... Nice! Yes! There we go. Now the tables are turning again. Why didn't he punch him there? Do you know? Well, let's think about it. He knows the other guy's not wearing a top. So once he felt the, the silk clothing of the, the ref, he obviously realized. So you just need to compose yourself not to punch, not to react until you know exactly what you're acting with. Here we go. You can do it, you can do it. Nice. Inside to outside hooking kicks or swinging kicks, crescent kicks. That's it. Taunting him, taunting him, and changing. You need to be agile. You can't fight without any flexibility or any agility. You need to be able to move fast, be light on your feet. Yeah, love that kick. Jumping, spinning, crescent kick. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Spectacular kick. Check his face, check his face. Oh, he looks... He acted there quite well, I must say. Yes, he submits. Brilliant. All right, guys, that that's it. That was the best fight scenes. He takes back his his bandana for his friend, and he gives it back to to Ray and Ray Jackson. And yeah, even even the military police are cheering for him. And it's why could he not? He's he actually did exceptionally well. So yeah, deserves deserves what he got. So brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Alright, we've come to the end of this video again, so please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell, leave me a comment, and come back for the next show because we will be going through some of the training that Frank Dukes went through. And I hope you don't mind me giving my comments in between all the, the videos, but if you want to, obviously go watch the movie yourself. And if this is inspiring you to go back into the video archives or and watch it, I've got a massive DVD collection and this is one of them and it's one of the most classic movies that I love watching again and again. So again, don't forget to like and subscribe, send me your comments, tell me what you think about this and we will see you next time. Cheers, bye.